How much time did you spend here yesterday? I was here for three hours. He snuck out every once in a while to peek at the sky. But during the eclipse, Pierre Chastanet's focus was on Granby Zoo's macaque monkeys. They didn't do much of anything, he says, until about 10 minutes before totality. As it got dark, they gathered together the way they always do to sleep. Where it got interesting was when it suddenly got bright again. They were not animated. They were very calm, very still. They didn't move, but they were yelling, you know, with whatever they were saying in their macaque world. Now, the zoo's observation teams were out again Tuesday. They're watching 15 different species. They did two days before the eclipse, and they're doing two days post-eclipse. That'll give them the baseline to determine how the animals normally behave and if anything was different during the eclipse. Well, most animals didn't have any reaction, but two that stood out were zebras and ostriches. Shastanet has a theory that they may have instinctually felt in danger from predators when it suddenly got dark. We saw in the zebras, for instance, that uh, they went galloping around their habitat. Uh, they were yelling a lot. What do you think, Alta? Now, there are stronger reactions being reported out of other zoos. Animals were more agitated as the eclipse reached totality. But other zoos were open to the public, and that likely affected the animals. <laughs> Humans during the eclipse tended to get quite excited. What we were able to do is have a real observation of natural behavior of animals during an eclipse and not animal behavior influenced by human behavior during an eclipse. Chastanet has about 50,000 data points to analyze and weeks of work ahead. But his preliminary findings are that some animals react to an eclipse as though it's nighttime, others don't react at all, and in both cases within minutes, everything's back to normal. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Granby, Quebec.